the disease prevention this is the community health nursing the three level of prevention primary prevention secondary and tertiary we are going to talk about the primary prevention so always remember prevention is better than cure the primary prevention basically the client or population or community no disease at all right and no impairment so when as an example mother when pregnant they has to go for the prenatal care why they has to go to the prenatal care because they want to prevent any kind of complication during the pregnancy like when mother is pregnant if they took the folic acid they can prevent the neural tube defect so this is the primary prevention right like the baby when born we give them immunization so the immunization is a primary prevention right so here also like environmental um, cleaning clean lens or sanitation the sanitation is a primary prevention you can stop the communicable disease or infection you can stop with a good healthy uh, drinking water or improve the sanitation facilities so this is the example of the primary prevention so this when you um, when the children drive the bicycle or if you drive the motorcycle we wear the helmet so helmet protect me to injure to get injury in the brain right so this helmet or primary prevention so go and see what are the example of primary prevention as i told you any kind of scanning or immunization clean environment sanitation drinking water example of primary prevention so you know the deficiency of protein develop core or marasmus but if you give a quality and quantity enough protein baby do not develop washer core or marasmus so the primary prevention family planning or um, when adolescents or active sexual life use the barrier or safe uh, sex education you have to prevent some std sexual transmitted disease this is the primary prevention you know the smoking causes cancer lung cancer stop the smoking or smoking education is a primary prevention so also the education related to the hygiene like as i told you um, sanitation clean environment drinking water can prevent the disease safety education like seat belt wear helmet wear this is the primary prevention immunization primary also advocating for any kind of access to the health care or healthy environment are the example of primary prevention the secondary prevention always keep it mind early recognize the disease when you recognized the disease then we will try to prevent the progress of the disease right so early detection or testing or scanning is the secondary prevention so i said the imagine your patient um, chance of the diabetic so diabetic scanning is the secondary prevention 
So if the patient has a diabetic, then they have to take the insulin, right? And this diabetic or medication of the diabetic to control the disease, secondary prevention. Like same as the hypertension scanning or testing for the hypertension, medication taking for the hypertension, the secondary prevention. ACE IV scanning, the secondary preventive method. Benign enlargement of prostate, right? So this is the scanning for secondary prevention. So here we say, part of the example of secondary prevention, any kind of community assessment, any communicable or non-communicable disease, scanning is the secondary prevention. So early detection and treatment of the disease, right? with the goal of limited the severity. So if you do not control the diabetic, so blood sugar increase, uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, kill your ki um, kidney, bite your heart, leak your brain, right? And diabetes is important cause of the um, um, peripheral neuropathy or uh, eye problem, right? So if you tell your patient to take the insulin and pro stop that progress of the disease, limited the severity of the disease, this is secondary prevention. So any kind of testing, any kind of scanning is a secondary prevention, like breast examination, cervical um, examination or lab test, testicular examination, prostate examination, colorectal scanning, everything is a secondary prevention because you has want to find out the chance of cancer develop or not. Hypercholesterol management, lifestyle change, exercise, uh, anti um, lipid uh, medication like statin to prevent atherosclerosis. If you do not prevent atherosclerosis, they lead to MI and heart failure. So, control or scanning the hypercholesterolemia is secondary prevention. TB scanning, lip, lead exposure, secondary prevention. Any kind of scanning for genetic disorder or metabolic deficiency in the newborn scanning is the secondary prevention. Control of outbreaks of the communicable disease is the secondary prevention, right? And the last one is the tertiary prevention. Tertiary prevention, basically, um, example, the dietary measurement or nutritional and prevent the disease. So tertiary prevention containing the disease, already patient have the disease, right? Already patient have the disease, patient diagnosed the disease, they have an impairment of their body function, but still they try to adapt, they try to stop the disease process, already diagnosed, right? The tertiary. So tertiary prevention already containing the disease, physical like disease is diagnosed and going to give the physical therapy. So physical therapy like after the brain stroke or physical therapy after heart, uh, heart attack. This is the tertiary prevention or dietary measurement for ACE, IV, ACE patient. So, you know, the ACE, IV, ACE patient is the immunocompromised. So, because of immunocompromised, they easily attacked by the infection. So, nutritional support help to boost up their immune system. So, this is tertiary prevention. What are the example of tertiary prevention? They said nutritional counseling for 
management of the Crohn's disease, exercise, rehabilitation, case management, any kind of chronic disease, mental illness, or physical therapy, or occupational therapy, supportive group therapy, all are the example of tertiary prevention. Like patient is diagnosed by a um, uh, bipolar disorder, then you are giving or united them in a group, group therapy. So in the group therapy, you are trying to improve their health. You are trying to not to go more os. Right, this is the supportive group is an example of the tertiary prevention. So primary prevention, secondary prevention, tertiary prevention, there are three levels of prevention of the um, community health nursing. So 